I put on my primer, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, as always. I'm letting that set for a bit. And then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with a cushion foundation. This is the Misha Long Lasting Cushion Foundation, and it comes in this little packaging with a gold puff or whatever, but I'm not really going to be using the cushion puff. I'm just gonna use it to spread the product around my face. I'm getting ready for a dinner really quickly. Not quickly, but in a timely manner. <laughs> and I'm taking a beauty blender, buffing that in. Blending, stamping, whatever. Whatever the hell it's called. Um, I got my eyebrows done today, which is why my makeup sponge is a little dirty because I went out for a bit today and I just threw on some makeup. Um, and I didn't wash it. I'll wash it tonight. I typically go to this person to get my eyebrows done. And it's a sign that I need to find somebody in New York City um, because she just threaded away the top of my brows right there. So my brows are a little fucked. That's okay. We'll just draw on my brows. This is now the second time I've used this cushion foundation. I like it. It's nice. I'm definitely not used to putting on cushion foundation. So this is the Dior concealer that you always see me using. Right now I'm traveling so my makeup collection is very much limited but um, I bought a new powder because I'm running out of my Lancome translucent setting powder. And right now that's in my purse that I use for set, so I'm gonna use a new powder that I've only used like three times. Don't really know how I feel about it. It's definitely like on the thicker side. Like it's very, it's a lot heavier than I'm used to. For blush, I'm using Bliss. And I just rubbed it on the back of my hand and throwing it on my cheeks. So I know like blush placement is like super important, but I don't really have the time to care. <laughs> so this is one of the, the things I bought while I'm here. It's the Morphe Pony Constellation Sky Palette. Um, I am filming this in December, 2021. This will probably be uploaded in like February of 2022. So I really do like it. I like the whole color story layout situation of it all. I've only played with it twice, but I really like this blush. You're suction cupped to the mirror right now, so I'm looking beyond you to put on my makeup. Sorry, I'm just using what I got. I am using the blush powder to set the cream liquid blush situation. So for bronzer, I don't really have a bronzer with me. I only have this hourglass palette um, and that blush brush bronzer, my god, my bronzer runs really pink on me and so it doesn't really look that good. Um, so I'm just gonna use the color phase and let's hope it's not too dark because it looks really fucking dark. I'm just gonna dust it on because I'm scared. <laughs> and this brush is, ah, fell apart. Okay, good. I've been using the shade Omega by MAC because I also heard that it's a good contour shade so I started using it. It's good. I mean, I really like it. I think it contours really nicely and it's very natural looking. This is also quite nice as well. I'm actually going to take this flat side and do my brows. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Deep Space and Phase. I'm gonna mix that together. I'm just buff that. So now that my brows have kind of been fixed-ish, I'm going to powder my face. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair Light, number 10. It's a nice setting powder. It's not like outstanding, I mean, it's setting powder. 
So I'm wearing like these light grayish blue pants. So I might try to do a bluish eyeshadow look. I'm feeling fancy free. I'm gonna take the highlighter from the Hourglass palette. Any highlighter will do. I just really like this highlighter. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna take Sarang, Sarang, Sarang. Put that on my lid. Concentrating it in the crease. Now I'm gonna take Lucid Dream. It's kind of coming off more gray than blue. But that's fine because my pants are grayish blue, so if it has a grayish blue hue, that is not the end of the world. In fact, it might actually match even better. As you can tell, I've never practiced this eyeshadow look. This is completely on the fly. I also am very much a newbie when it comes to this palette. I've used, honestly, I've used like two colors in this palette. I am going to use the shade Lavender Shower. I'm putting that on my lid. Let's take the shade Breathe. Put that in the middle. Going to grab the color Sarong again. I'm going to use the Wide Awake Fake Awake Liner from Tarte. This is the Chanel lip liner. I really like this because it's sticky. Take Pillow Talk. I'm tired of being colorless. And I know there's more. This is my makeup. I'm done. It's very wintry and blue, periwinkle-ish, and I really like it. This is like, I haven't worn color in a while, so this palette has definitely, definitely made me try to get a little colorful and a little bit out of my comfort zone. But yeah, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you next time, bye. My eyes I think I really like you, but I never say it straight to your face. I think I really like you, but I don't wanna.